the uh, tragedy in the Channel draws into sharp focus an issue about which we have no doubt of the, of the, sec- of the Home Secretary's determined intentions, illustrated by Baltusville, which will go some way to fixing a broken asylum system, gamed by traffickers, by economic migrants and by rights lawyers. But she needs to go further. And that's why the Common Sense Group of MPs have written to her saying we need to disrupt those criminal gangs, we need offshore processing of claims, and we need to turn round boats in the channel, as the law allows us to do. For people who voted to take back control have every right to ask the question, if you can't protect the integrity of the borders, what can you control? I thank my rational friend for his comments, and he will know that within the bill as well, he mentions offshoring, third country, these are all options that are under consideration and the bill does actually, new plan for immigration covers those areas. He's absolutely right in terms of the principal point that he made, which is why we are determined and we will not just stop and cease with the measures that we've already announced, we will look to augment and enhance some of the measures as well. Because at the state of crisis that I think we're seeing with global migration issues right now, and the appalling loss of life and deaths that we have seen, it's incumbent upon everyone, governments and law enforcement, border controls, all the various agencies to come together to stop this awful trade in human trafficking.